Hello and welcome to Richard's Kitchen. Today's recipe is rhubarb crumble with creme anglaise. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Leave a comment below, hit the like button and share. A full list of ingredients is in the description below. So for this recipe we need 600 grams of chopped rhubarb and the rhubarb that I'm using here is the kind of rhubarb that you find growing in many UK gardens from April through to late July and at the moment it's banging season. After I've washed the rhubarb I'm going to cook it slowly over a low heat with a lid on the pan. I don't need to add any extra water other than what's clinging to the rhubarb after it's been washed and having the lid on the pan will create steam that will soften and cook the rhubarb. Carry on cooking the rhubarb for between 12 and 15 minutes until it's soft, just starting to break down but still with chunks of rhubarb. And then add 100 grams of caster sugar and stir this in. Carry on cooking the rhubarb for between 3 and 4 minutes and allow the juices to reduce a little. Pour the rhubarb into a baking dish and leave in the fridge to cool down. So now we're going to need the crumble to go on top of the rhubarb and we're going to need 200 grams of plain or all-purpose flour, 100 grams of chopped and salted butter and 75 grams of soft brown sugar. To mix the crumble we need to make sure that the butter is cold and then carefully with your fingertips work the butter into the flour and sugar until it resembles breadcrumbs but we need to be careful not to overwork the crumble otherwise the butter will become warm. Scatter the crumble evenly over the rhubarb and now it's ready to go in the oven. But first we're going to make a creme anglaise to go with this delicious rhubarb crumble. So the French call egg custard creme anglaise which translated means English cream. And it can be used on its own as an accompaniment to desserts and it can also be used as the base for mousses and ice creams. So to make the creme anglaise we need to mix together 3 egg yolks and 75 grams of caster sugar and put it to one side. In a saucepan add 250 milliliters of full fat milk, 125 milliliters of double or heavy cream and a scraped vanilla pod. Give the pan a stir and bring the milk and cream to a boil. Remove the milk and cream from the stove and allow it to cool for one minute. After one minute, pour the milk and cream over the eggs and sugar and stir until thoroughly combined. Return the creme anglaise to the pan and we need to cook this very gently over a low heat until it thickens. Stir constantly until you feel the mixture starting to thicken. The temperature should be 82 degrees centigrade or 180 degrees Fahrenheit and any hotter than that and the eggs will scramble. Carry on stirring until the creme anglaise coats the back of a spoon. Strain the mixture into a clean bowl and if you want to serve it warm alongside a dessert, serve it immediately. However today I'm going to serve it cold with a warm rhubarb crumble. So allow the creme anglaise to cool, cover with cling film and leave it in the fridge for a few hours. So now it's time to cook the rhubarb crumble. Place in a preheated oven at 180 degrees centigrade or 356 degrees Fahrenheit and cook for between 30 and 35 minutes. When the rhubarb crumble is a nice golden brown colour, remove it from the oven and allow it to rest for 10 minutes before serving. I always like to sprinkle mine with a little bit of caster sugar. Rhubarb crumble is an all-time favourite traditional English dessert. Stewed rhubarb with a sweet crumble topping that's so easy to make and is heaven when served with freshly made creme anglaise. Wow, this is truly delicious and so easy to make. 